Hey guys, welcome to the first official episode of the Superman Collectors Vlog. So my name is Zach Curtis. Nice to meet you if I haven't. Um, and the reason I'm starting this YouTube channel is because I hold one of the largest collections of Superman memorabilia in the country. And I've been looking for an interesting way to share some of these pieces with you, um, to kind of show some things that's never been shown before, uh, and kind of really dissect through this history of what I believe to be the world's greatest comic book character together. So today in this first episode, I'm going to take you along with me as I swap out one of my display cases um, and we explore some of the earliest pieces of Superman memorabilia. So we're talking 1940s premiums and toys uh, and advertising pieces. But later on in future episodes, we have lots to cover. Everything from the Christopher Reeve movies to Superman Returns to Smallville to Man of Steel. And then, of course, all the way back to the adventures of Superman with George Reeves, the Superman serials with Kirk Allen, the comic books, and more. I have thousands and thousands of pieces to share with you and some really cool stuff uh, to share as we dig in deeper. So first thing I ask of you, if you're watching today, please hit that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel so you can see more of what's coming. Next, comment on this video. Let me know what you want to see uh, as we kind of dig into further pieces in this collection. Um, and then finally, make sure to give this video a like and share it with your friends. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. It's gonna be a good time and I have lots to show you. So one of my favorite things to do every year around Christmas time is it's time to clear off the shelves, dust everything, make sure things are preserved, uh, make any adjustments to the cases and protective things that I have different pieces in um, and just kind of start over. It gives me a chance to kind of relive the joy of everything in my collection. Uh, so that's what we're doing today, is we're taking down the cases of 1940s and 50s Superman memorabilia in my collection. Um, so today in this video, hopefully we're gonna walk through what that looks like and kind of go through a couple pieces that mean a lot to me and some of the stories behind them. This is the case that we're starting with today here. So a lot of people where I ask me where I got my cases. So I got my cases from a lot of different places, but my three favorite, which are these guys right here, uh, came from a buddy of mine who runs an antique mall. And so when he wholesale ordered his own cabinets, he put in an order for a couple extra for me as well. But as you can see, the lighting's great. We've got all glass front, all glass shelves there, uh, and it really helps things pop for the display. So this Target game here is actually one of the rarest pieces in my collection. It's thought that there's less than five of these things that exist. Now, mine is missing the gun. It does have the little darts that go with it. But there's some amazing World War II era art inside this box um, that's just absolutely stunning. Let's talk about the crown jewel of any Superman collection, which is the 1940 ideal wooden jointed Superman action figure. So it actually took me a couple of these. So I had one of these that I bought on eBay about 15 years ago, but the one I had did not have an original cape. Um, so you can see how hard it is to find, as you can imagine, with this fabric being so fragile that I had to buy a second one on eBay years and years later. And I was able to swap out the capes for mine, which has a much nicer face. Most of these things are uh, do face significant cracking along the face. So that's what you'll see on most of them. So if you can find one with a nice face, you've really found a rarity. So a lot of people don't realize that the speed game from the early 40s has two different versions. So there's a much thinner box version here. Um, and then you have a little bit larger box and much thicker box version as uh, box version as well. So you, you can see that really, I'll try to show you when you hold them up next to it there, you can see the difference in sizes between the games. So a lot of people say this is one of the creepiest things in my collection, but this is actually a 1940s Macy's exclusive. Another one of these items, I had to buy three of to complete it. One to uh, get the belt, one to get the boots, um, and then the rest of the baby all included in one, but a really cool piece. These 1940s comic book figurines of Superman made of Sirocco wood 
were thought to be given to comic retailers as a promotion and incentive for their sales. It's believed that only 100 of the brown and red figure were made and only 10 or less of the colored version. Another thing that people love to collect are the 1940s Superman gum cards. Um, what most people don't know, though, is of this set, the first 48 cards are actually relatively simple to find. Um, number one, obviously, being a little bit more uh, tricky there. But anything above 48 gets really, really difficult. There was a much lower print run, um, and, it, and it's tough to find. So my collection houses the number one card through card number 48. After that, it gets a little spotty, and that's the run I'm still working on. Trivia question. This is the first hardback book ever made of Superman, The Adventures of Superman with George Lowther. So my trivia question to you is, what premiered in this book? That is, what element of Superman appeared first in the pages of this book? Let me know in the comment section. So here are three early Superman rings. So the first one over here um, is from the Superman Tim Club. So in the 40s, um, Superman partnered up with Macy's to do a promotion with the Tim Club program. Uh, so you could get Superman Tim comics, Superman Tim merchandise, and this amazing Superman Tim ring. So actually extraordinarily rare there. In the middle, we have a bit more common ring. This is a partnership from the Kellogg's Pep cereal. So this is the Superman Pep ring uh, a little bit later in the 50s um, really cool piece but you can typically get that one for a couple hundred bucks so not too tough one to find but on the right this is the crown gem of my collection as far as the comic book rings go this is the superman of america member ring it's thought to be less than two dozen of these in existence this was a mail-in premium from early issues of action comics so super proud to own that one all right, guys, we are almost done. I just have to put the doors back on this thing, but it's really come together pretty nice. So this is the first of many cabinets uh, focusing primarily on 1940s Superman memorabilia. And we are all officially finished with this case. Came out beautifully. I'm really excited how it showcases some of the 1940s uh, memorabilia in my collection. So remember, if you liked this video, Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. There's many more to come. We are going to be covering more 1940s and 50s memorabilia. We're going to be covering movie props and costume pieces. Everything from Superman's Inception all the way to the more modern stuff like Man of Steel, Justice League, Smallville, Superman and Lois, Supergirl. We have it all. Um, so let me know what you want to see in future videos in the comments and we will make it happen.